Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So what we have going on here today is that we have this circle and we have this triangle shown here and this green region right here and the green region is where we have to find the area. So a few points of interest here is that point O right here is the center of the circle. The angle from A, O to B is 60 degrees as shown. A and B are on the edge of the circle and the circle diameter is 24 centimeters across. So in order to find this green region, the area of this green region, we have to do a couple things here. We have to find the area of our total circle and we have to find the area of this triangle here. And we have to find the area of this section or sector of the circle. So there may be multiple uh, ways to solve this problem, but I'm just gonna show this one method here. So since A and B are on the edge of the circle and O is the center of the circle, we can determine that A to O is equal to B to O. Those two segments are equal because it is the same radius to the edge of the circle no matter where your points are. So this means that each one of those legs of that red triangle is going to be 24 centimeters over two, which gives me 12 centimeters in length. <clears throat> so since this is 12 and this is 12, and that angle between those two is 60 degrees, Whenever you have two legs that are equal and an angle between them is 60 degrees for a triangle, what that means is that you're dealing with an equilateral triangle. So that means that all sides are equal and all angles are 60 degrees. Well, that makes the area of this triangle pretty easy to calculate because when you're dealing with an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, which I'm just going to use delta, <laughs> the area of that boils down to this equation of L squared times the square root of three over four. Now you may see it written as square root of three over four times A, A squared, where A is just a side of the triangle. Well, here L is just a side of a triangle. So since I am 12 on all sides, my length is going to be 12 centimeters squared times the square root of three all over four and that gives me 62.35 centimeters squared once we round it off. So now I have the area of my equilateral triangle. Let's go ahead and find the area of the total circle. Well, that's just simply pi r squared, pretty simple right there. So pi times 12 centimeters squared gives me approximately 452.39 centimeters squared with some rounding there at the end. Well, next thing would be to determine how much area do I have encompassing this portion of the circle, this little pie wedge right here, this little wedge, this little sector, whatever you want to call it. It goes by many different names. We need to determine how much of the area is in that outline in blue. Once we get that, we can just subtract off the equilateral triangle area, and then we have our answer. Well, we know the area of the total circle, and we know the portion of this sector is encompassing 60 degrees of the total circle. Well, a total circle has 360 degrees. So what percentage of the 60 is of the rest of 360 because wherever the 60 is placed, it's gonna be the same percentage no matter where it's located because the circle is nice and uniform. So how much percentage do we have here? Well, we have 360 degrees in a total circle. We are gonna divide that by 60 degrees and that gives us six. So what this means is that our sector is one sixth the total area of our circle. Well, what is one sixth of our total circle area? So our sector area, is just going to be the 452.39 centimeters squared all over six, which gives me approximately 75.4 centimeters squared for this little wedge shown out in blue. 
Well, now with the sector area known and the area of the equilateral triangle, I can just subtract the two and I can get the remainder, which is my green portion. So my green region is just going to be, or the area of my green region, is just going to be my sector area, which is 75.4 centimeters squared, subtracting off my equilateral area for my equilateral triangle, which is 62.35 centimeters squared. And this gives me a remaining area of 13.05 with some rounding there, centimeters squared for my answer. So, Having that be an equilateral triangle made that so much easier of a problem than what it could have been. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned a new math skill along the way. If you wanna test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.